Hi, it's Brendan here, and today I'm on the sofa with David Stacker from Nourish. And this is a brand new restaurant that's just opened up in Leeds City Centre. It's the second, so the first one was in Sheffield, the second one's in Leeds. So really, we're just checking out what's going on. And how are you doing today, mate? I'm good, thanks, mate. Good. Glad to be here with you. Yeah, it's good, mate. It's been a while, yeah, hasn't it? It has been a while, yeah. yeah. So, so David and I first sort of met each other writing for a magazine many, many years ago. And I was doing the S and C stuff, and you were doing the nutrition yep, stuff, weren't you? Nutrition. So yep. we kind of collaborated, and just kept in touch since then. It's probably been a few years now, hasn't three it? Three years, three and a half years, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And your business has obviously grown rapidly. It has, and yeah. Things have yeah. things have developed. As is yours. Yeah, 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 things have things have grown for for us as well. So it's pretty Good. cool. So what we're going to do in this series, we're going to get into really what goes on in nourish, and pick David's brains on different aspects of nutrition and different training goals and obviously I'll chip in from the fitness, the S&C, the performance training side of things as well. But first things first, let's talk about these little fellas that we're drinking here. So what, what have I got in my, uh, in my hand right now? So you've got a high protein, low carb smoothie. Um, it's been our best seller since we opened. Um, ingredients, almond butter, blueberries, uh, spinach, vanilla whey protein and almond milk. Um, nice. And a little bit of ice to give it a bit of texture as well. So yeah, it's it. hydrating, full of antioxidants, decent amount of protein as well, um, healthy fats too. Mm. Um, and I've got. Um, it tastes good too. As well. Good, that's yeah, a bonus. That's the main, yeah, that's yeah. The main thing. For that, me. It, it's, it's stood the test of time. It's been on our menu since the day yeah. we opened in Sheffield. It's best seller in Leeds as well. Is it? Um, yeah, 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 really good. Yeah. Tasty, but quite functional as well. Yeah, yeah. And do you reckon this is this a good enough? Is this good enough for like a breakfast? Would oh. you suggest? Is that um, controversial? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm always eat real food for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, start yeah. the day as you mean to go on. Take the time to, 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 take the time out to eat a meal. Mm. Prepare a meal, sit down, enjoy it. Yeah. Start your day, get to work. Um, smoothie can take a couple of minutes, or as most people have a Nutribullet these days, blast yeah. the ingredients in. But no, I, I prefer for a breakfast. This is more of a mid-morning snack, really. Mm. Yeah, mid-morning top sense. up. Yeah. Decent amount of fibre, good healthy fats that keep you going through to lunch. Good amount of protein too. And what have you got on yours, mate? I've got a kale power kick, which is kale, which we massage, which breaks down the enzymes a little bit, so it's okay. less bitter. Yeah. Um, banana, orange, and flax seeds. Again, good amount of fibre, decent amount of protein, um, not loads like yours. Sometimes I'll add a bit of a scoop of protein to it, though, yeah. just to bump it up for myself, yeah. if, especially if I've trained uh, first thing in the morning. Um, and, and the orange is really just there for the flavour and, mm. and the texture and the taste and the antioxidants, too. And what are the flax seeds there for? Flax seeds, healthy fats, fibre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay yeah it makes sense so so tell us more about nourish then mate because i've been a few times i brought the missus down i've been you know my lunch break every now yeah. and again it's, it's really cool i like it but just give us your breakdown why why are you here what, what's the mission the mission was to create um a fast food alternative um, to your burgers uh, to your pasties um, to your, your fried foods um that would focus more on um what people actually need, which is whole foods, fresh, natural, a um, bit of integrity back into the fast food market. You know, we're not promoted, promoting ourselves just on um, the price of food or the quality of ingredients, but all, the whole ethos really. Um, we're more than just a food outlet. We like to think there's a lot more behind us. We're community driven. Um, we're not jumping on fads. We don't believe in detox. We don't believe in uh, eliminating macronutrients. Um, we just believe in nutritionally balanced, healthy food um, and giving people kind of what they need as well, but not telling them what they need, being there if they, if they want to ask us. Um, so yeah, Nourish was kind of born out of a, a bit of a dream and of an idea um, and being someone who doesn't really know when to say stop to myself, I just kind of went for it. We yeah. opened this first one in Sheffield in 2013. It's been great, took a load of great feedback and now we've just jumped into to Leeds City Centre. And we're, we're doing well, you know, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're doing well in a, in a very tough marketplace. Mm. We've only been open a few weeks, but yeah, we're, we're doing well. We know that we've, we've, we've got a good spot and we've got a good business, you know. People yeah. trust us or start to trust us more. Now they know what we're about, about more than just the food. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a dream and kind of made it a bit of a reality. Nice, it? yeah. And you, you, you proved the model in Sheffield. Yeah. You, you know it works. You know yeah. there's a demand for it. Yeah. Um, so how did you feel when you sort of decided to take the leads leap I suppose did you feel confident there was the yes that you had reservations uh, about or? I mean um, it's it's a much bigger unit we, we pay a lot more rent mm. in this one but we're in a prime location in Leeds we've yeah, got the model right. we're in an industry that's growing you know um, being healthy is never going to go out of fashion mm. you know it can't ever go out of fashion you know 
living longer, you know, eating better, feeling better, sleeping better, they're all things that should never go out of fashion. You know, it's never cool to be unhealthy. Um, yeah. And so we think that we're in a good place right now. This market is in healthy food, it's just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So yeah. taking the leap into Leeds, which is um, very forward thinking city in terms of the food market, um, very driven by business, it's, it's a, a big investment city. You know, we think we're in a good place. So yeah, it's very, very daunting. Yeah. We were just a small little pokey shop in Sheffield at one yeah. point. Yeah. Now we've got two branches and we're between and, and spending a boatload of money with these yeah. Midlands trains every day. That's great though, mate. It's good. Yeah. And that's, it's, it's something that's really interesting because there is a leap there. And, and even though you know that what you're doing works and, you know, I speak from my own experience that you kind of know what you're delivering is, is quality. Mm-hmm. But it's still scary when of you course, kind of think, yeah. actually, right, now we've got to get more stuff, we'll yep. take more of a lease, we've got to do all of this, we've got to do all of that, and it's expensive, and of it could it go is. wrong. Yeah, yeah. So how did you handle that yourself, kind um, of psychologically? A lot of omega-3 fish oil scheme my brain, <laughs> function as it should. Supplementation. Supplementation. <laughs> um, no, um, I mean, how did we handle it? I, it's a tough question really we just did it um, yeah. I kind of yeah. I always wanted I, I lived in Leeds for nine years I studied in Leeds um, Leeds is a second home for me people ask I think it's a, a business decision to come to Leeds possibly a little bit yeah but the main decision was because I just love Leeds as a city and I wanted to come back here and I wanted to do something here again yeah. business wise so yes it was a, a big leap how did we handle it well I've got a good team it's all yeah. about the pe- bringing the right people in knowing your own limitations can I do everything no right I can't do that who do we need for that so bringing in a, a good team surrounding yourself with good positive people and people who are achieving like yourself um, and you, you draw from that and push on no, that's good that's really good to hear so what's the inspiration for the menu like I'm looking at this it says lead summer menu yes 2015 menu yep. so is there's presumably there's going to be a seasonal menu then there will be yep um, we change it every three months. It's a massive task. I mean, if you look at the detail yeah. that our menu goes into, yeah, it's, every it's ingredient really listed, cool. every yeah. macronutrient calculated, all allergens justified yeah. and, and placed yeah. on there. Um, and yeah. even my, when I was ch- chatting to Carly this weekend, and we, we had some food near this weekend, and um, she was really pleased to see that, that it was already listed on my fitness pal yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. it's massive though. That, it that's is added yeah. value, isn't it? Yeah, it's making um, it easy. It is tough. You know, we're, we are. You know, we're still a small team in effect. Tasking out someone to put all our meals onto my fitness plan takes takes a month, and we are we, we have four menus a year. You know, we have a slightly different menu in Sheffield and Leeds at the moment. We're bringing them back in line. Um, we've got the new autumn menu launching on September the 14th in Leeds, September the 15th in Sheffield. Um, again, big seasonal change as we're coming into autumn months now. You know, we, you've got to cost things. Yeah, it is a it's a big task. But it's just what nourishes, you know, it's the detail, it's the honesty, it's the transparency, um, it's working with local suppliers, it's, it's all of that that goes into a menu. Brilliant, that's cool. And what's the vision then for Nourish? Where do you see it going in the next five, whatever, six, ten, whatever years? Well, it's interesting really, because I was um, this morning listening to Tim, an old Tim Ferriss podcast, um, and I, it's a great podcast, isn't it? Yeah, really excellent podcast. Yeah. yeah, learned so much from it. Yeah. Um, and he was interviewing the the old CEO of Evernote. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And he was talking about you know the, the difference that Evernote had made to people. And I went through, I logged into my old Evernote account, pulled it up, and second um, of January, um, 2013, when it was just kind of a bit of a seedling idea, we were putting things into to place, so that Nourish will not be defined by how much profit it makes, but how many lives it changes. Mm. Probably a little bit too. That's, godlike, that's hardcore, isn't it? Yeah, that's <laughs> bit good. too godlike, Impact. but to uh, to look back on it, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to change things, not just through the healthy food, but through the, the profit that we'll hopefully make will be used to spend on community projects, education, engaging with as many people as possible, even those people who probably can't afford to come and eat and nourish, you know, at all, or if not, you know, every day. We still want to be able to reach out to them and say, yeah. you know, you know, educate. There's a massive confusion area of, of nutrition at the moment. People don't know what to believe or even who to believe. Um, and we want to be trusted. Um, we want to be the first port of call for people when they look for information, when they want to adv- want advice, when they want inspiration for ideas, the recipes, and, and, and you know that's what that's where I see nourish going. You know, I don't want to take over the world. But I want to I want nourish to make a difference in the world. So that yeah. means nourishing every key city that can have one yeah. Um, yeah. that can sustain one um, and be profitable because obviously you still have to be driven by mm. by the finance side of things you know you can't change the world with, mm. with clouds mm. um, yeah. fluff yeah. so yeah we, we, we want to expand we're already looking at new sites in different cities and um, we'll hope to have an, at least another couple more open within the next 12 months 
I saw you doing some education seminars, that yep. kind of thing. What's the what's the plan there with that? So I've done um, different education pieces for different companies or organisations, um, well, company wellness kind of programmes as well. And over the last year, I've done uh, my own kind of education programmes, kind of packaged up, um, and they've all been really successful. But there's always been an element of um, like lack of continuation. So we've done a seminar and just kind of continued it after with um, a kind of a feedback. This time, what we're actually working on is putting a full program into place where you can drop in at any level um, from complete beginner to advanced and we'll have the course for you. But with a, a bit our beliefs, what Nourish believes. Yeah. Um, again, I brushed on it earlier, like the detox thing, something, something we believe in. One of the modules that we do is debunking nutritional myths and detox being one. Yeah, no, that's going to be good. So let's, let's finish on... What do, you, what do you think you mentioned about people just the, ed, the education and understanding yep. is not where it needs to be what's a couple of things that really big big misunderstandings in the community that people struggle with on, when it comes to healthy eating and nutrition oh well um, again it's just a fad one that just will not seem to die detox um, you yeah. know your body detox itself you know, no pill, potion or juice is going to do that for you. Yes, it will assist your body in, in, in functioning better, uh, but it will not remove that toxin. And that's why none of them actually list the toxins that they remove. Yeah. Um, I think that's, that's one key thing, um, one big misconception. And one that's still kind of, one that's kind of gathering more momentum mainstream is, is fat um, and differentiating between fats, healthy fats, um, processed, you know, awful fats that they put in processed yeah. foods. Um, we, we really need to distinguish we need the big players to step up yeah. and, and educate on that British Heart Foundation are Absolutely, moving yeah. slowly um, British Dietetic Association again they're moving you know changing their stance slightly fast forward five years and I think we'll have a different outlook as they're a just, nation they're just fat. scared though aren't they to, yeah, to issue that statement yes. and put their yeah. eggs in that basket so to, so to speak yeah I mean if you look at many nutritionists uh, many key nutritionists oh. key influencers at the moment um, they've had a, a stance on fat that's been very different oh, yeah. to the to the party line for probably about a decade but it's still longer. it's still it's poorly marketed it's poorly packaged on products yeah. i mean i i was eating some some coconut some fresh coconut out of out of a a, a box that was you know from sainsbury's yeah. or whatever it was and a friend of mine came over non-fitness person and he's really quite primitive with his knowledge okay. I'm sure he won't be offended if, if I said that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but li literally he pointed at the box and he's like how can you eat that it's it's full of fat and there's yeah. like this big red big red symbol sticker, on the front yeah, saying yeah. And, I, and I was like are you have you really asked me that question <laughs> seriously because unfortunately but it, it yeah. had though it, it genuinely had and yeah. I'm, I'm I love cocoa it's great yeah, and, yeah, and great I know food. it's a kind of a very very healthy fat it's yep. a, sort of a medium chain triglyceride yep. Yep. sort of fat isn't it which is which is yep. performs really well yep. but the understanding just was like that red symbol means no yeah fat is bad red is bad yeah, yeah. but we need yeah. to stop packaging up and labeling all fats as just being one thing there are, there are many different things different forms of carbohydrate you know we all we're all kind of able to differentiate between you know these simple complex uh, sugars and carbs we should really be looking to educate on on the same with fats as well yeah i agree i agree all right well let's let's finish there that's been a, a really good chat thanks for that yeah, david no worries. and uh, i enjoyed my smoothie it's all gone as you can see and <laughs> um, so we're going to be coming back with more clips more more food more eating uh healthy stuff from nourish and picking david's brains again my thoughts on the exercise side and we'll be back very soon with another episode <laughs>